why should every leader in an organization think about this idea of them as a brand? How, what's the connection there when we're not talking about the, the marketplace in the, the traditional way? Yeah, I, I love this, um, this kind of angle because when you think about a brand and we're all familiar with thousands of brands. It's the shoes we wear, it's the clothes we wear, it's the cars we drive, it's the companies we trust or don't trust, right? A brand, a brand is simply what people say about you when you're not in the room. And if you're a leader, you need to be paying attention to that. You know, they might sit up straight and um, feign paying attention when you walk into the room, but when you're out of that boardroom or that company meeting or whatever it is, and people are talking smack about you behind your back, you don't, really have as much influence as you think you do. Um, and I would dare say, I would take this a step further. It's not just about what people say about you when you're not in the room. It's it's what people say about before you even get in the room. And if they but don't know what to about say. While you're in the room. Yeah. Okay. And if you're not shaping that narrative in some way, shape or form or being intentional about it, um, my friend, you're, you're, you're behind the eight ball already. That we see this at play all the time in business, in leadership, in sports, in celebrity culture, whatever it is, you, in politics. You can say Elon Musk is more famous than Tesla. He's more famous than his own company. And there are people who will follow him and respect him simply because now of who he is, his brand, Mark Cuban, the same thing, who is more famous Even for being more himself, so with Mark, yeah, than say. being the owner of, a, of the Dallas Mavericks that they have immediate buy-in with a large part of their followers, a large part of the marketplace. And so Elon Musk tweeting about cryptocurrency, there's this thing called the halo effect in leadership, where if you're an expert in one niche or industry, people will all automatically assume you know what you're doing in another one, which is why politicians will recruit celebrities who know nothing about politics, let's be honest, to endorse them. There's all this psychological stuff going on. And if you're a leader and you think, I just, all I need to do is be the best. It doesn't, I just need to get the best results. That's all that really matters. Then how come Michael Jordan isn't everyone's favorite basketball player? He's the best who's ever lived. But there are a lot of people who don't like him. It has nothing to do with his expertise. It's his personality. Some people don't like his personality. And if you are in a certain type of organization or role, and um, you're treating everything that you see like a nail because you're a hammer. That's not going to work in certain organizations. You got to understand where you are. I work with a lot of people who are nonprofit organizations. They can't. They top down leadership doesn't work there. Right. You know. So there, there's a lot of a lot of questions as we go into this. So, you know, back to what you were asking. I think branding is real. The reason leaders need to pay attention to this is that your people are having conversations about you, whether you realize it or not. 